trying to pull this axle out right here. I got a w bad wheel bearing I got to replace. And I could not find anything online for how to get the C-clamps out. I found one video, but it didn't show him removing it, just him replacing it after he's already removed it. What a good help that was. So let's see together if this is even possible because this is such a tight little fit in this truck. Um, zoom in here. Okay, so the issue is, so if you can see here, the C-clamp, get my little screwdriver, the C-clamp I'm trying to get is right over here. That's the C-clamp. Uh, I've already taken the pin out right here. As you can see, the pin's out. And in the instructions, uh, it said leave the pin in halfway until you turn the chunk, until you turn this whole chunk right here until it gets to right here, so you gotta put it in neutral and all that. Uh, if you're watching this video, you get, you've got to this point and you're like, shit, what the hell? It's not working. So that's why you've come to Google and may us both be joined by my stupidity and, may, and uh, hopefully this will either work or we're going <laughs> to figure out what else to do. We ain't buying a rear end, buddy. Um, all right, so we're at this point here. So if I push in on the axle from the back, you can see it move. All right, so, but the problem is, is this block right here is kind of in the way. So I've got a magnet here and that block will move just a little bit if you, so if I turn the, oop, I turn the whole thing, I'm holding that on. So if I turn this, see how it moves just a little bit? And it's wanting to come forward. See, I got the magnet there. See if I can, if I can push it forward it said to use a screwdriver. Look at my Harbor Freight special here. So if we get a screwdriver in here, it looks like that the, uh, it looks like there's a channel inside that square, um, inside here that's cut out for the axle to go in. But you have to, you have to pull back on this as far as you can before the axle will actually go enough you see it went pretty far there but see it didn't go as far that time so let's see if we can do this um trying to give you the best perspective that i've got here let's give right there and then zoom in all right down to the nitty-gritty at this point, I was working on this rear end for about 20 minutes or so, so my frustration level was very high, so I had to uh, lower the volume on this part because I was uh, indecent. Let's just say I was indecent. Okay, but in lamest terms, you have to align the C-clip. I said clamp so many times in the beginning. Just ignore that. I was hot and bothered this day. Um, recording this is uh, going much better, uh, except for the part where I had to rewatch 13 minutes of myself painfully, painfully, try to take this apart. It's no wonder we're called monkeys. Um, anyway, so as you align the C-clamp, you have to align it perfectly through where that block is. Um, and then as you align it, you got to hit that mother with, an, with a hammer. So hit the axle with a hammer, uh, preferably a dead blow, something solved. Um, and then you can get the C-clip out. And here eventually I'm just going to cut straight to it and I'll show you the end result of me bashing out. And then I can just simply pull the axle out after that or what I thought. So here we go. Oh, there it goes. All right, let's try the hammer now. Oh, no friggin' way. Your best friend called, hammer that shit out. Oh, good God, look at that. All right, so apparently that's how you do it. You just gotta finagle it until your uh, your hands are greasy, your eyes are sweaty, and your balls are dripping. What a wonderful video. I didn't waste your time at all. But then after that, you can just 
should be able to pull the axle out. Oh, you saw me. 